Felix, dude, I have a problem, man. I keep on losing my toes around my apartment. <laughs> That's so annoying. I know, it's so annoying. Seriously, when I built my closet, I thought for sure on the charger, there needs to be a button to find your drill because you always put it somewhere and you always forget where the f you put it. Okay, some context. So this is actually a problem a lot of people struggle with. Some even go as far as spending a lot of money on Apple AirTag trackers just to keep track of where their tools are. But Felix or PewDiePie's idea is basically because your tool charger is always in one place plugged to the wall. If there was a button here that you can press to find your tools, well, then my problems are solved. But first, Back in the booth again, same dude spitting that truth again. While I'm like hooligans, do it all with no pseudonyms. There go that dude and them, same team ain't much change. But we got a whole bunch more loose change, and we about to run it up like you sang. Go. So a lot of you guys keep commenting that I must be obsessed with the color white or that white must be my favorite color. But no, there's actually a very practical reason why I choose to use white for all my tools. If you have a guess, leave a comment below. But if not, I'll get into it in a future video. Now, these four tools are the tools I use the most around my apartment that I'm constantly losing. So I'll be trying to put a tracker in these. There are two ways to go about doing this. At first, I tried to make my own circuit using one of these cheap project remote controllers. It kind of works, but it's just too complicated. And that's when I discovered key finders. People use these to track all sorts of stuff and they're only $18, so this is the way to go. The trackers come with all the needed batteries, a remote, and a lot of unnecessary packaging. And I wasn't a fan of the color coding system, so... Instead, I'll be using a numbering system. And now, let's add the trackers. This can be done easily with just some zip ties. The hot glue gun didn't have anything I can tie a zip tie to, so... And then I had to do the same for the screwdriver kit. Now, to attach the remote to the charger. At first, I was gonna design and 3D print a holder on the side of the charger for the remote. But then, saner heads prevailed. Because all I really need is a binder clip and some magnets. And the binder clip goes onto the remote, and then the magnet can be taped to the side of the charger. So now when I lose my tools, so what do you think of this man? Now nah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I want. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> These are so fake. Um, thank you to PewDiePie for the awesome idea. And I know I haven't posted a video in a long time, but Here's the thing, a lot of you guys might not know this, but I don't actually work on this YouTube channel full time. I do actually have a day job and recently I switched from one day job to another job and throughout this process, things got so busy, I didn't even have a chance to work on any YouTube videos. Things got so stressful, I even considered quitting this whole YouTube channel thing. 
But then I was reminded of all the amazing comments that you guys always leave for me, supporting me. People who started 3D printing because of the Ender 3 videos, people who share their ideas with me, people who even make the stuff I actually design and share photos of it with me. And I just feel so lucky to get to be in a position where I get to inspire and also be inspired by other makers. So I guess if you guys keep enjoying my videos, I'll keep making them. Oh, and I'm sure you can tell I'm no longer just making these YouTube videos from my iPhone. I'm using way better camera gear and I'm having so much fun with it. And it's hugely thanks to the awesome people supporting my channel through donations. I want to thank Brandon Adams, Athria Vera Darajan, Danny from Modern Remade, nice YouTube channel, man, keep it up. Kian Dowd, Hiago Aravira, James Cow, Yori Ilian, Harry Kongron Parkhorn, Mert Garros, Justin Wang from St. Louis, Missouri, Danny Shawbaker, Sidek Ghani from London, UK, Leon topping thank you for the kind words and nobert love my apologies if i messed up any of the pronunciations there some of those were hard and uh with that thanks for watching guys